Hi everybody. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to show and discuss photos that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got these on various Telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by displaying these photos. But that's the whole point. These photos are proof that a small occult elite of a race to make the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, before I start, don't forget to subscribe to my backup channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Not mountains, but petrified giant trees. Giant trees that grow miles and miles tall, some of the bases are miles across. The Bible says they could be seen from all ends of the earth. Some pictures showing regular tree stumps next to giant stumps. Here are some zoomed in samples of cross-cut sections from tree stumps. Just look at the fibers, it is clear as day what these were. The scientific and historical fields are hanging by a thread, that's why they try to ignore this kind of information, as debating it would expose them and ruin their career. Let's bring our real history back and unveil the truth. Believe it or not, there are giant footprints in Tapak Tuan. These footprints are 6 meters long. The name Tapak Tuan comes from Indonesian language which means Lord's Step. Nature sometimes holds mysteries, as in Tapak Tuan, in southern Aceh. On a rock overflowing the open sea, there is a giant footprint. The city is located about 440 kilometers from the provincial capital of Aceh, Indonesia. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Four drilling holes found at the archaeological sites in USA, Tennessee, and Norway. On this picture, we can see that same drilling techniques was used to cut through the very hard granite stone. Take into the consideration that granite is the strongest rock next to a diamond, even in today's time, it requires heavy machinery, so this couldn't simply be done with hammer and a chisel. There are so many evidences of electrical power and machines being used all throughout the history, it just keeps pulling up. Lynn Hickox discovered the Badlands Guardian utilizing the Google Earth program. Although this area is a completely natural geological feature in southwest Alberta, Canada, one cannot help but notice the striking resemblance of a human head wearing his full Native American headdress. Some have also claimed that the figure appears to be wearing earphones, which is nothing more than a road leading to an oil well. Even though this area is a natural formation, it is amazingly ironic to see these arid badlands formations resemble the fully detailed shape of the very same indigenous people that lived in these lands. Did you know? There is a cave in Thailand called Naka Cave, which looks like a giant snake. It is believed that centuries ago a snake cursed to be a stone. Naka Cave is located in Fulanga National Park, Thailand. The cave is home to many mysterious myths and legends, and is a hotspot for tourists every year. Many of the legends come from the rock's appearance, which takes the form of a snake. Buddhism plays a large role in many of the legends that appear around the cave, as serpent beings are considered to be guardians of the water who live in damp caves. Every year, new parts of the cave that resemble snakes are discovered, which fuel more stories to be told. This is a very early American map from 1546 they say. They should have destroyed this map, it clearly shows extravagant cities for a time that should have been only huts, cabins, and the occasional large wood or brick building. 
This map displays gigantic cathedrals in America in the 1500s. This should be an eye-opener to everyone. Our history, American history, is a lie. This image is a giant cathedral complex from an American map from 1546. And this is the first state capitol building in Maryland, built in 1772, 200 years later. And this image is the closest early cathedral that even comes close to the splendor of what is depicted in the 15th century map, over 200 years later. San Fernando Cathedral, built around 1783 to 1750 they say, is the earliest cathedral of this magnitude that our mainstream sources tell us. There used to be far more cathedrals like this in the United States, and why is that important you may ask? Well, take any historical event or story in our mainstream timeline, and try to imagine gigantic cathedrals everywhere during that time. The Wild West. Whites vs. Indians. Lincoln living in a log cabin. What kind of timeline are we living in right now? None of it makes sense anymore. Our history is a lie. Tap water. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has identified over 700 pollutants that regularly occur in tap water. Now one thing is heating up the water and killing the bacteria, but the bacteria is not the issue here. Much bigger issue in the water are drugs. Both prescribed and non-prescribed. This is something they don't purify out of water. Let me put it into perspective, 50% of women in America are on some sort of birth control pills, which are estrogen-based. Where do you think hormones go once they leave the body, and this is just the fraction of drugs that people take? Tap water is basically recycled water. Why do you think you have emotional crashes? Because you are hormonally unstable. Same goes for men and women. One minute you're all man, next minute you are emotional like a woman on PMS. This is all due to hormonal imbalances. That ox your body, get your hormones in homeostasis, most of you have no idea how good our bodies are designed to feel. What do you think about this video? Please, like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this. They have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.